Well, hello and welcome to Absolutely Positively. <laughs> I am your host, Denny Kay, and got a special one for you today. This forum, this place was designed especially for you to motivate you, to encourage you, to inspire you to your uniqueness and your greatness. Hopefully something will be said that helps you on your way to being the best and the greatest that God has called you to be. And so without further ado, let's get started. So we are here right above the water, right at the point of a horizon meeting the water. And I absolutely love that spot. Have you ever been somewhere uh, to a lake um, or ocean or a body of water and sat there at the time where the sun meets the water? It is a absolutely and positively a spectacular event. And it always makes me feel so very special to see those two elements meeting each other, greeting each other, um, one leaving, the other one lingering. And it is the most peaceful and wonderful space. And so today, as we go jump into our quote, uh, hopefully it will resonate with you in a way that this is the picture that will come to mind when you think about it. So if you've been following the episodes of Absolutely Positively, you know that every episode, we reach down into a jar of goodies, our positive and motivational jar, and pull out a quote that you can use, that you can take along with you on your journey to greatness. And today, in my little jar of goodies, uh, today we have a fantastic quote by none other than one of my mentors uh, in the world of poetry. Um, this woman needs no introduction because her words bring life and joy and a rumination, things that make you think. Uh, the way she crafts words together is phenomenal. And so that person would be the very famous and infamous Maya Angelou or Angelo, if, you know, if you're in French, you see I have my little beret on today. Because I wanted to be fancy on the horizon reading to you about Miss Maya Angelou. So she says that I've learned that people will forget what you say. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Again, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. And so this is so very awesome to me because one of my personal quotes, and I'm going to throw a Denny K quote in there for you. But one of my quotes that I use in my daily life, just something that I ran together because I'm a poet, if I've never said that. And that's probably one of the reasons why words and quotes mean so much to me. And I wanted to use them for you and share them with you in this way. But my quote says, presentation is everything. And so it aligns with what Maya Angelou says, how you present yourself is everything. And so Maya is saying that people will forget a lot of things. They will forget a lot of things, but how you made them feel will carry them for a lifetime. And before we go any further than that, I hope you enjoy the musical selection. I'm trying something out. I just kind of felt like with this background, with this quote, we need a little bit of music, motivational music. So let me know what you think when you subscribe to uh, Mute Mogul Media 
drop it in the comments and let us know what you think about that. But anyway, so how you make people feel. Words matter, but it is something about when you string them all together and it resonates with someone that makes them think, uh, that makes them remember it to the point of feeling is absolutely awesome. As we talked about in the beginning about how the sun meets the water, that feeling that you get when you see that is something that every time I see the sun, even if I am just driving by a lake at the time of sunset, that horizon, that feeling takes me to a place of calm. It makes me feel absolutely calm and grateful for that occurrence. So just think about you as a person as you're going through your journey and things that you may say or do will resonate with someone to the point of they will always remember you based on what you did because of how it made them feel. That's powerful, folks. That's powerful, friends. We have to be intentional sometimes about the words that leave our mouth. Words have power. And this is what she's saying, really, that words have power. And if you use them correctly, if you have some intention, you use them for a good, that you can change somebody's disposition. You can change the way somebody feels in that moment, just based on that occurrence. That's powerful. That's powerful. And really, that's what absolutely positively is about. We're hoping that something can be said that brings about a feeling that you carry that all throughout your week. We're doing this on Sunday for a reason. So we can start your week off having you feel a certain way about yourself, something that was said, but that lasting presentation is everything to you. And hopefully it is a seed that is planted that will grow and grow and grow and help you be all that you can be. But that's what that quote says. I just love the part where it says, but people will never forget how you made them feel. It brings to mind a funny little story that I wanna share with you um, about this very quote. Now, when I was in college, <laughs> I was a bit of a dancer, a stepper, so to speak. So I walked around as a, a statement. As you see today, I have on my uh, earrings with the music notes, if you can see that hopefully, um, and my beret. So just imagine a 20 something year old girl walking around who was in a stepping team. She was a poet, um, just full of life. I made a statement everywhere I went. It's just how I was. I, I really walked around with a theme song playing in my head. And most of the days you could tell that. But in particular, one day I had a great notion that I would, uh, I was in a fashion merchandising and first fashion design when I was in school. And so I decided that I would make my own brand of clothes. I would take uh, different things and strip them up. This is before they were popular and actually selling them. I would strip up things, cut up things and make like a little uh, car wash kind of flow. You know, when you go in the car wash and you see the different, uh, the, the old school car wash, uh, you know, those things, but something stripped up is what I'm saying. So pants, skirts, shirts, anything like that. And so uh, that, was, that was just my flow. That's how I walked around campus. Now, fast forward 20 years. 20 years. This happened about probably five to seven years ago. I was at the grocery store and a person called out my name, or oh, excuse me, a person called out a name and I didn't respond. And the person came up to me and said, wait a minute, I, I forgot your name, uh, but did you go to, and she said, the college that I went to. And I said, yes. She said, oh my goodness, you are the lady that wore the stripped up pants. Is that correct? And I said, why, yes, that is. You know, and she, at that moment, 
said to me how much joy it brought her. How much joy uh, just wearing those pants did for her. And we just had a conversation about how they made her feel. She said every time that she went um, on campus and saw that, it made her feel very joyous. And so when she later saw the style uh, that came out or anybody that had something tripped up, she thought of me because I was a joyous person, speaking to everybody, just trying to live my life with a lot of light. It doesn't mean that I don't have bad times, but you know, live my life full of light. But just that right there lets you know how powerful things like that can be. And so just remember that your presentation is everything that you can inspire and make people feel a certain way just from being you. And so let's be that light. Let's have a moment to give a word of advice, to share a thought, to say hello to someone, because you never know what can happen. I've had several people tell me just by saying hello and checking on, hey, how are you today? Made the difference in their life because they were feeling bad or having a bad day. And so I hope that you will take this charge to give a little bit of sunshine. Have the sun meet the water and have that 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 spirit of giving someone that horizon, giving someone that thought so they can remember that feeling that can carry them a lifetime. And your life will be better because of it. And mine definitely was because after she said that, it almost brought me to tears just to know that me uh, doing something very zany, me doing something uh, very off the cuff brought someone joy now because she's been laughing at me absolutely could have but the fact to see it's the fact to know that it brought her joy brought me joy so I hope that Maya Angelou's quote will charge you in a way that will help you along the way that will help you help one reach one and teach one because that's really what we're here on earth. We are a community here to help one another. And so I hope that this quote will inspire you. That this quote will bring you to your next, uh, your next place of motivation for someone, for yourself and for someone else. So hopefully this will bring you to the point of greatness. And remember, whatever you say, wherever you go, and whatever you touch, you can make a difference. Absolutely, positively. Until next episode, enjoy a little music, enjoy this uh, horizon, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Just thank you. And also, please subscribe. Please subscribe so you can keep hearing some motivational quotes with your host. Your girl, Jenny K. Until next time, take care.